What's bracking guys? Welcome to another player growth test here. This time we'll be taking a look at Mikael Dulund, uh, the Danish player from FC Micheland. So he's a decent starting out here. You see he's only 17 years of age, left mid set or mid striker. Um, he's definitely more of a striker as you see, medium, medium, th three star weak with three star skill moves. So, uh, he was, of course, user requested by one of you guys, one of my subscribers. So, uh, as I said before, I'll take a look at every guy, you know, that you guys want me to look at, and I'll do a video for them. But you'll see a uh, decent sprint speed, balance, acceleration. You can see at the end of that first season, he does move up uh, to a 58. Decent ball control dribbling. And um, just some improving his finishing as well. He definitely actually becomes a very good finisher, as you'll see. You can see uh, he gets up to a 65, it looks like, then uh, ball control dribbling move up very nicely, despite the physical stats strangely going down. Um, but either way, he's done, had some great growth so far, as you can see. Going to turn to a good striker, and he can play center mid, left mid, of course, but I think striker is going to be going to be his forte. As you can see, he's moved up to 64 now. That finishing is looking very good at 70. Ball control dribbling is pretty nice there. So um, some decent growth here. Definitely would be great. You know, I would say if you're doing an MLS career mode, he would definitely be good for like an MLS style career mode. Just a lower league um, in kind of that level. You're going to play a long career mode. You can see ball control dribbling finishing. Short passing look very good here in his final se in the final season. We're going to be showcasing, um, well, it will be age 23 actually, but you'll see it improves heavily uh, his ball control and dribbling his finishing is very good for a lower end player per se I'm only 71 but that finishing is akin to a lot of you know uh, higher rated players in that aspect so uh, he's definitely going to give you um, the most bang for your buck because he was only valued at I think it was 70,000 euros at first but uh, either way he's going to be turned into a solid player he'll be a good striker like like as I said it's going to be a, if you're going to plan on doing a long career mode with you know like an MLS style team um, just a lower end league per se I guess not to attack MLS but you know just kind of that level of play he would definitely be great for and of course could be a decent squad player as you move up in a road to glory but um he may not be too too many people liking just because um of his overall overall rating but I do think he plays above his overall rating due to his tremendous finish, finishing stats as you can see he could be a very good striker for you guys but uh with that I hope you enjoyed this player growth test guys so of course as I said if you give me a player to review I will for sure review them um I, maybe a few exceptions with some guys I, I kind of you know already know are tremendous and kind of they're kind of well known in that aspect but um for guys like this, you know, especially I would love to do more players, you know, in the Scandinavian League, second divisions, you know, players like that. If you can recommend me more players like that, that would be amazing because I think that would just help me out completely. Because I have plenty of players in mind, especially on MLS, uh, the Mexican League, all the uh, leagues in the Americas, essentially, and some of the lower end, and some of the Scandinavian League, Scandinavian Leagues, excuse me, I know some players in that aspect. But that, I'll be sounding out now, guys. Um, of course, leave suggestions below, and I'll catch you guys later.